we look at John 19th chapter, the verses 26 and 27, and it reads, When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Yes. And said it he to his disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto him, that, into, into his own home. Amen? Yes. Amen. As we uh, look at this portion of scripture this morning or this afternoon, Jesus had already forgiven, asked for forgiveness from the cross. And the sinner had already asked for repentance. And Jesus said on this day, you shall be with me in paradise. Now, as Jesus was still there hanging on the cross, yes. he looked down and he saw his mother who had gathered there with Mary, Mary, his mother's sister, and Mary Magdalene. Yes. They had come and they were standing there at the foot of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as Jesus looked down at his mother, I could have I could just imagine in my little mom. Yes. As Jesus saw his mother there, he could imagine the pain that she was going through. Because she was his encourager all along the way. Yes. See, even when Jesus was not, his time had not yet come, his mother encouraged him to turn water to wine. Yes. When Jesus was on his journey, she was always there by his side. How many of us know today that no matter how good a child you are, your mother's there? No matter how bad a child, your mother's still there. It don't matter what you go through. Glory, hallelujah. Your mother will be there for you. See, sometimes mother and children have differences. But I believe with all my heart that the mother still cares for that child. See, we don't love the sin and the disappointments that we get from our children, but we always love the child. And I believe as Jesus looked down upon his mother, he saw her there and he said, Mother, look at me. I'm hanging on this cross. I'm dying, God. I'm dying because it's my father's will. Yes. See, he's already been to the father yes. and said, if it was not his cup, take it from him. Yes. But see, this was God's will that he had to go and hang on this cross. And yes. there was other women standing at the cross that was encouraging Mary. I could imagine in their mind they were saying, Mary, be of good courage. Yes. Mary, I know you have to go through this, but you knew it was special from the beginning. Mary, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know exactly what Mary was thinking, but I believe Mary was saying a prayer to God. I believe she's saying, well, God, this is your son hanging on the cross. Yes. God, you know how he, he done no wrong, yes. yet the crucified. Yes. But if I were to encourage your heart today, mm-hmm. if I were to tell you what I would say to Mary, I would say, Mary, thank you mm-hmm. for letting the Lord use you. Yes. Because God found favor in the sight of you. Woman born of man. Yes. That he saw favor that you would carry this child. Yes. That you would birth our Savior into this world. And because of you, Mary, yes. we have salvation. Because of you, Mary, we have a right back to the tree of life. Because of you, Mary, yes. hey, God, we, could, we don't have to go through all our situations by ourselves. Because he said in his word, he will never leave us. No will he forsake us, but he's there with us always until the end of the earth. God will always be there. Glory to God. If I would encourage Mary, I would say thank you. 
thank you mm -hmm. for carrying a word for us. Yes. My Bible tells me in John 1 and 1. He came into the word, he came into the world as a word. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yet the world knew him not. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him today, church, get to know him. 